so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel right quick before i call it the night i receive this video today i'm um, actually i was out i was doing some things and on my break you know, one of my subscribers one of my followers they sent this video over to me and it was like lockout man we lost another driver rest in peace to this driver that they you know, they pulled out of the truck that looks like that's in a in a truck stop or something like that but as i was watching the video i decided to go to the comment section and you know, read some of the comments that was that was on this video right here again this you know, this ain't the first time that i've seen videos like this of other drivers or just happen to record a driver being pulled out of his truck and they getting ready to prep the body to be moved to the to the morgue and everything A after they do all of that now they got to go through the process of looking for that driver's family via the driver's company if the driver have his phone his his wallet or anything like that they they gotta they gotta go through the daunting task of letting that driver's loved one know that hey here's your family member that passed on the road i come across all these videos and i just see all these these new drivers these young drivers and they just using this industry without realizing what's really going on and the and the stuff you guys will run into out here and that's one of them that's that's one of the things that that you you guys want to run into you guys want to see it this is the this is the real life right here you get in this truck and for whatever reason this truck will probably be the last thing that you see some people are comfortable at home with their loved ones surrounding them as they pass but being a truck driver for whatever reason you you're in your bunk and the good lord decide to say hey it's time or you might be in a situation that of the actions of another driver this is the things that that is in trucking and it's sad to see i went to the comment session of this particular video and some of them sending their condolences their rest in pieces uh, my condolences to the family uh, we'll take it from here my brother rest well all of those oh, those are pretty good it's nice it shows that you don't know this truck driver but you, know, you you feel for this truck driver and those comments are real good but you got some disrespecting comments too but you also have the comments of the people that's commenting about the the the, the people that oh, that's getting the driver may he rest in peace out of the truck and some of you when you watch the video will probably think the same thing and i i get it but i'm looking at it from from another point of view one of the commenter says why is they dragging that guy like that well you got to understand in the picture or in the video there's what looks like a gentleman they got him out of the truck and the gentleman was kind of pulling him so they can put him in the in the body bag and when the commenter mentioned that it's like why are they dragging him like that well they mean how, how is they gonna put the get the body situated sir how, how you think they're gonna get the body situated they got they gotta pull the body over to the body bag when the body loses its life when the body is lifeless the weight of that body I, I don't see nothing wrong with him pulling him a little bit just to get him ready for the for the body bag because it's gonna have it's gonna take all three of them to lift the body up on the gurney and put it into the into the van into the, the morgue van and I, I honestly don't don't see nothing wrong with how they are preparing the body like that and i i guess oh they i i guess you could see that as as something that you could see but another commenter says well that's how they be disrespecting us they we they disrespect us like that mm. well truck drivers get disrespected all the time whether by other truck drivers by other motorists by the companies that they drive for so the disrespect in trucking is real i i don't think it's disrespectful for what 
these people are doing, which they're doing their jobs. It, it, it's a, it's an unfortunate job, but it's a job nevertheless. So they have to pull the body to get the body prepped so they can take it away. It's unfortunate that dying alone in the in the truck is is became more and more. I just pray that when it comes my time, I I just pray that I'm not in the truck because I I don't want to be in bumfuck somewhere and the good lord decide to bring me home and my family is is left out in the wind and they're getting my body home because some companies getting the body home is not their it's, it's not their responsibility their responsibility is to get that truck back i guarantee you they'll go down there they'll send somebody to get their truck back they'll put somebody in a hazmat suit somebody gonna drive that truck back they're gonna go give it to the detailer they're gonna detail that truck and they're gonna get it ready for the next driver and might not even tell that next driver that hey somebody died in this truck i, I don't think gonna tell them that would you tell would you tell the next driver that you bring going to the company to replace the driver that died that somebody died in that truck you're not going to tell them that you ain't going to say hey somebody died in that truck bro oh i'm not driving you gotta be out of your rabbit ass mind if i'm getting in the truck that a, that that somebody just died in no that's bad karma to some people so they're not gonna they, they not gonna tell that next driver that truck number such and such and such and such peter paul passed in that truck just last week they brought you on to replace them and this is the truck you will be driving that he drove so now they're not going to tell them that so it's it's their responsibility to come and get the truck but it's not their responsibility to get that driver to his loved ones i think it sh i think it should depending on where where the body needs to be taken to whatever state i'm up in ohio so if i'm down in texas somewhere it probably might take weeks months to get my body back up here so that my family could get me a proper home going some families is not even that fortunate bodies that that was laid in other states is still there because their families are not able to get their loved ones home and that's where insurance life insurance comes into play that's where health insurance comes into play because a lot of drivers that's in this situation you see families run into the internet for help so again rest in peace to this driver i i don't see the disrespect by these workers that's preparing the body but this is but this is it's way too much for these drivers so these drivers are stressed out we're not eating healthy it's too many problems it's hard to find uh, some good healthy choices out here on the road which i i don't think it's hard to find it's just not readily available it's not these options for us to be working for these companies that don't care about us either i i just talked about personal conveyance and cameras and trucks new drivers and drivers alike stay well i appreciate you guys watching thank you very much um, send a prayer to this driver's family right here and before I let you guys go, man, listen, we leave our homes for work. We we get in the truck and we don't even know that if we're going to make it back or not. We can do everything possible to prepare to stay mentally safe and sound on the road to make sure that we do get back to our loved ones every week, depending on how you drive it. But the unfortunate ills of other drivers you you just you just don't know so take this with you drivers most people live day by day us drivers we live one mile at a time every mile for us we're living on a prayer